We're really uh, elevating the at-home dining experience through pickup and delivery. But unlike uh, what's available out there today, you know, ghost kitchens and things, this is very different. There are going to be 30 different restaurants, some of the best restaurants from around the country, every cuisine. Um, we hooked up with some of the best chefs around the country to put all 30 restaurants cooked right back here in our kitchen. So it's a massive kitchen, 30 restaurants cooked. You can shop across all 30 restaurants in a single checkout. And the goal is, because we've got so much density, given how many restaurants we have coming out of this location, we're only going six blocks in either direction. So imagine a six minute delivery by electric bike. And we're averaging about just under 10 minute cook time per meal. So end to end order to eat. When you order off hours, you're gonna get it in 15 to 20 minutes. During uh, peak time, we'll leave a little bit of a queue for labor efficiency, and so it'll be around 30, 35 minutes. But um, again, you're gonna get this incredible quality food, piping hot, delivered by our own Wonder Couriers with the, the chef coat and the hat in, an, in, a, in a beautiful bag, uh, really fast, on time, um, for, for you know across all the restaurants. How do you get these chefs to part with their babies, these, these recipes, your do you make the food in here? Do they make the food? No, we, uh, we make the food in here. We go through a, a very strict, you know, um, you know, learning phase with them to make sure that we're able to replicate the food to their standards. Um, but once we do that, yeah, I mean, we've, we've systematized it where the food comes out consistent every time, which is one of the keys to the, to the model. Um, so it's, it's not, um, the food doesn't you know, vary as much as it would in it. A typical restaurant. So you've done, I've followed your whole career. You've done what <laughs> diapers? You've done e-commerce and jet.com. You've done done Walmart. Why why the big bet on food and food yeah, delivery? I, I, I just think that the, the food market is ripe for massive disruption. It's been a really long time since you've had any real technological innovation in food. Um, and, and you combine that with what's happening with uh, you know food delivery. Uh, 2010, we're at 10 million in revenue. You know, fast forward 13 years later, we're $100 billion in the U.S. in, in, in delivery annually. And we project it's going to go to nearly $600 billion by 2035. So I think we're seeing that the younger generations are putting a, a, a premium on convenience. They want to spend less time cooking, more time enjoying time we with don't want to family. Cook. I don't want to cook anything. You don't want to cook anything. Nope. Yeah. So, so we think that that's like a really big mega trend that's a tailwind here. And it feels kind of like the early days of, of e-commerce where it started with marketplaces and then Amazon came with a robust first party offering. That's the place that we want to you know, play here in this, in this market, which is come to this you know, delivery market with a really robust end-to-end -end vertically integrated first party experience. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh we just some food. Let's, yeah, let's go. Food. Oh, this is, uh, this is, yeah, this so is pretty good. Menu. That is and shrimp tacos from our barn. Impressive. Thank you very impressive much. Impressive stuff. Thank part of me, I'm going to be uh, eating. Yeah, what do real. you think? That looks Felt pretty good. good. Not I, bad. I think it's a pastrami sandwich. That's pretty good. Thank you. And these are uh, shrimp tacos. How do you, shrimp tacos. Mark, how do you scale these things, scale this up? Like, how do you go from, what, 30 locations in the city to, what is your ultimate vision for this across the country? I mean, ultimately, like, if, if the market plays out the way we think it will, this is five, 10,000 units across the U.S. Mm -hmm. Um, but obviously, you know, this year we've got 10 planned. So I think it's all a matter of approving the 10 that we do, that we can get these things profitable, have a really good return on CapEx. Mm -hmm. Customers love it, really high net promoter scores, great repeat rates. I do think it's much easier to scale this business mm -hmm. because we're looking for 3,000, 3,500 square feet, essentially restaurants. We have no open planes, no hoods back there, no grease traps, it's all electric. So literally, we just find 3,500 square feet. You know, we can build this out in, in, in a few months, um, and then we're up and running. You just so, took over as what CEO? What made CEO you step in? in October. What made you step in there? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, the only analogy I can I You're can a busy say guy. is I use this. I use this as like I was, you know, I was coaching, mm -hmm. and uh, and just really missed playing. I just wanted to get back on the field, and uh, it's once once I did that. And it started rolling. Now I'm like, I'm so hooked. You know, it's. Uh, it feels. Does it feel I'm like the in. early days? It of feels like it feels. I'm more. People find this funny, but I'm, I'm I'm more fired up, more motivated, more driven, putting more time into Wonder Now 
than I did any of the startups in my past. Mm-hmm. And, and it's because I feel it. I just feel it. I know, I know this is it. You know, I know that we have a massive opportunity to change people's lives and change how they eat and to really elevate this at-home dining experience that everybody wants. So if I'm right, you've raised, what, $850 million? Yeah. Cap- uh, how much? $800 million of equity. $800 million of equity. How much do you need to make this vision come to life? I mean, you know, it's done in stages. And so, you know, we're going to raise a, a couple hundred million into the late summer, into the fall to bridge into a big growth round in, uh, in early 25. And then from there, it'll depend on how fast you want to grow. But, you know, it, it could be anywhere from as little as maybe a, a billion or so to, uh, to many billions if we wanted to, to really ramp it up. You think it's fast. a public company? Yeah, definitely.